Jabba had many vassals. We've got a lot of ground to cover if we are to keep his empire intact. I can make the rounds without you. Jabba rarely left his chambers. Jabba ruled with fear. I intend to rule with respect. Hi, I'm Alex from NME, and today we're talking to Star Wars' scariest double act, its bounty hunters Temuera Morrison and Ming-Na Wen. Hi, guys. Hi, Alex. Hi, hi, kia ora. Temuera, part of what made Boba Fett so cool and mysterious in the originals was how rarely he spoke. <laughs> how did you go about keeping that edginess while adding all the dialogue in for the new series? Yes, I, I wasn't very successful. I was hoping not to say as much as I have already in the first two episodes. I speak far too much. In fact, in the beginning, I was trying to get past my lines on to Ming-Na. Yes, and I always say, excuse me, excuse me, director. Uh, I really feel that Ming-Na should say these lines because I want to stay mysterious. Right. I want to stay uh, quiet. But then I, I caught be... on. He wasn't, he wasn't just trying to be a very generous actor, which he is. He was just trying to parlay some of the work to me. He's joking his responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, but, uh, and even uh, when, because, um, well, obviously John's, uh, the, you know, one of the key writers. So, uh, yeah. and so sometimes I'd always say, I, I, I think this is too much. I think this is too much. Then I'd go to, what was the other guy's name? Noah, Noah. I'll try and get. Oh, Noah, yes, Noah, Noah. Mm -hmm. I remember, of course, John actually went away to Atlanta. So I rang Noah that night and I said, Noah, the scene tomorrow, I'm talking too much. This Boba doesn't talk this much. I'm um, look, I've got all this, these paragraphs here. I think we should get rid of it. And John's gone to Atlanta, so don't tell him. And then next minute, <laughs> next minute that morning on set, I get a call from Atlanta. Uh, John wants you to say all that dialogue, and he'll cut it out later. <laughs> so he was even keeping yeah. an eye on us way back, you know, from from all areas. But again, we 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 we, I had to start talking, I guess, otherwise. Uh, we had to fill in the gaps and give out a little bit of information. And right. Ming's such a wonderful person to to share my thoughts with too. So, uh, yeah. but yes, I think I did speak a bit too much in answer to your question. It's great to hear you guys have got such great chemistry and the first two episodes we've had from Boba Fett have been so good. I just wanted to ask, looking forward in the season, if there is an episode that you're really excited for fans to see. Try not to give too much away, but it'd be great to hear your thoughts on that. Well, every single one of them, because you know for me the second episode especially that just aired i wasn't in you know that storyline of boba with the tuscans and so i became a star wars fan all over again and an audience member you know even though i know the story from reading the script it was so much fun to just watch everything that uh, was happening you know it, it was very exciting tem did an amazing job and i was just cheering him on you know, at 1230 in the morning yesterday, uh, or was it this morning? This morning. Um, it, that's the fun part. And there's so many other scenes and moments that I have not really been privy to. So I'm, I'm very excited to see every single episode. Every one of them is going to be epic. Thanks so much for speaking to me, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure. I love the show. You've done a great job. Thank, Thank you, you so Alex. Much. Thank you very much.